So here it's CES um, 2019. This is an OLED laptop. Yes, it is. This is the first 15.6 inch OLED laptop. So this is our Spectre X360 15 inch machine. The Spectre X360s are really capable machine, especially for content creators or people who need computing power. You can get it with up to a uh, Core i7 H series CPU, up to NVIDIA 1050 Ti graphics with Max-Q technology. But the news for CES is the display. So at CES we're announcing the fact that in March well, this machine will be on the market with an AMOLED display. It's a 4K display, 500 nits, high color gamut. Because it's OLED, it's high contrast. In OLED, on an OLED display, the blacks are real black. Blacks are black because OLED technology means it, each individual pixel uh, radiates its own light. And when it's black, it's turned off. So blacks are blacks, white are white, great contrast, great color gamut and uh, very bright display. If you're a content creator, if you're watching video, if you're building video, this is the kind of display you want. And I would guess if you go in dark mode of YouTube and other apps that have dark modes, right? You might be saving a better life in a bit because... Yeah, we really recommend any kind of a dark mode you can use. Because on an OLED, each pixel em emits light, any pixels that are black aren't emitting light and aren't using battery. So. When you, when you use an OLED laptop, you really do need to go to a dark profile versus a light profile. As far as I know, out of Photoshop, Premiere, all that, they're already dark, I think. So maybe there's some way to make them even more darker. Yeah. Just choose a dark uh, theme for them. Or yeah, something. and there's a, there is now a dark theme in Windows, so that, I was happy to see that come. Nice. And uh, so this is basically uh, the family of uh, this one that's, uh, that's on the market right now? Yeah, it's our Spectre 15X360. And what's kind of interesting on it is this one also has a 4K display, and it's a really excellent LCD 4K panel. 400 nit brightness, high color gamut, great display. However, when you put it next to the OLED display, it starts to look a little dimmer. Yeah, I think, I think it looks fantastic. And what are you doing here as a second 4K here? Well, this display is also a CES launch. It's a QHD um, quantum dot on glass display. So quantum dot technology also is each pixel emits its own light. And that means with that one also, you've got very beautiful colors, you've got great contrast, that same kind of contrast and HDR capability with CEC with OLED. It potentially it could be even brighter than OLED, right? It could be very bright. Uh, peak brightness potentially is there peak luminance on, on this one? I don't know what yeah. the peak luminance. And it's 4K. It's, no, it's QHD. Ah, QHD. Yeah. And uh, is there a price? That one I have a price on. It's it's 399. 399. Yeah. For a quantum dot. How big? QHD 27 inch. 27 inch. That's that's really awesome. Is it uh, one of the first ones that uh, with a it's quantum the, dot? As far as we know, it's the first quantum dot on glass display on the market. So it's not just like a, a quantum dot film, it's the actual front glass. Quantum, gla quantum dot on a layer of um, Corning uh, Gorilla Glass. Nice. So that looks that looks really, really awesome. Yeah. And uh, you're doing this with a, here in this HDMI? Yes. Yeah, the, the, the um, Spectre X360 has lots of connectivity. We've got Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 3. We've got... Um, USB Type C or, or Type A. And what do you have here in the corner? The corner is another USB Type C Thunderbolt port. So there's two Thunderbolts right there. Two Thunderbolts, a Type A, and this switch is kind of interesting—a very small switch. Yeah. But the reason for it is a lot of people get concerned over their webcam, so they'll put tape over it or something like that. Our switch is a electrical cutoff switch. When I turn it off, it actually disconnects the webcam from the computer. The computer doesn't even know it has a camera anymore. Nice. So it's unhackable, and that's great. Nice. That's the other great. side, also another, we've got the HDMI port, we've got a headphone jack, the uh, power connector, and the power, the power switch is on the corner. And nice. what I like about that 
is there's no question of where to find it. Always your finger can go right to it. Nice, and when you have it uh, in 360 on the other side, you still have access to... You still have access to the power, power switch, all of, all of the connectors. Uh, you also got a micro SD slot, so you can expand storage. But on this one, the storage capability is all the way up to two terabytes of SSD. Oh. So lots of storage available. Do you do any HHD or only SSDs? On uh, these, we do only SSDs. And uh, which generation is it of this kind of laptop? Is it the second one or uh, more? This is the fourth generation of our Spectre X360 15-inch. And so, are there a lot of uh, video content makers that use this kind of laptop uh, to do 4K video editing? Is it perfect? Well, we, we really recommend this one for basically prosumers and content creators. So someone, someone who's going to buy their machine retail versus going through our, um, our channel to buy a workstation, this is the machine we recommend for them. Mm -hmm.